Lena, and today it is move-in day for my sister who is going into her first year of university at UBC. I'm not actually gonna be moving in this year because I'm only doing one more semester and then I'm done, so it just doesn't really make sense for me to live out there. But we're just in my dad's car with a bunch of her stuff and then she is in my mom's car with the rest of it. And if you wanna check out some of the stuff that we bought, I do have like a dorm shopping and dorm haul video. I'll have it kind of linked up here. But yeah, let's just get into it and I'll show you kind of what it's like. We've been stopped at the side of the highway because apparently there's some like motorcycle event or something and they just keep coming. I don't I don't even know how long we're gonna be here for. <laughs> oh, and another police car. And another police car. And another police car. And another motorcycle who's lagging behind. <laughs> had to go into an orientation thing so we're just kind of waiting for her and then we'll go get the cars and unload everything and my dad found himself a little muffin yeah i am i am starting to recover the tuition fee he's starting to recover the tuition fee <laughs> with the free muffin <laughs> wow <laughs> okay so she finished her orientation so we're just gonna go pick up the cars and then go back there and drop everything off unloading everything and then my dad and I took the cars because you only have like a certain amount of time to unload them we put them back in the parking lot that's like free for today and then we're just gonna go back and I guess unpack and organize everything right now everything now it's just kind of a matter of setting everything up i think the mini fridge is probably going to go in this little corner over here um but i guess we'll show you the finished product here's a lot of the stuff that canadian tire sent again if you guys want to win that 100 dollars gift card go check out the other video okay so this is her view it's pretty nice i think and i don't know if you, the camera's like really picking it up but the ocean is just kind of right over there Okay, so we finished making the bed, which is, you know, technically my bed because no, not. I'm gonna be crashing here, you know, a lot of times because I don't have a place to live here anymore, which is fine. This is my new bed. Welcome. Um, she is gonna be sleeping on the floor. 
Um, and she's Except practically, yeah, she's going to be sleeping on the floor. You're going to be sleeping on the floor. Okay, I'm going to be sleeping in my bed. Okay. I'm so sorry. That was the maid. Um, you don't, I forgot to say this is a single connected. So this is just like her washroom. And then over there is her roommate's room. Um, yeah. Right, so we put the mini fridge just right over here and this is our first time actually seeing it because if you saw it in my dorm hall uh, the one with the Canadian Tire gift card and stuff we hadn't opened it because it was just easier to carry it here in the box but it's so nice I just opened like the foldable tray that you guys saw in my dorm hall and it's like the perfect color for the wood that is in here just a really good fit this little shelving unit came this way but I think we might flip it like that Man. All right, so we moved this shelving unit this way and then the drawers that used to be just right under there We put them over here with the printer on top. I just think it makes like a lot more leg room for her um, But yeah, we think it looks pretty good We have this like little shelving thing for the closet But it might be a little too long because there's the two poles and also I don't know if she's actually gonna end up needing it because there is like these drawers just underneath the bed so her clothes might be able to fit in there and this drawer up here has this like locking system so that you can lock it because you know her roommate is just the biggest criminal ever so who knows now she can lock her valuables in there dad can you tell me where close to uh there 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 no yeah. oh. there to the corner don't there know. Munch, munch, it's time for lunch. Now we're just at the cafeteria getting some lunch um, and taking a break and then we'll keep setting things up. Bye bye dirty plates. So that's my bed. And if she ever wants to crash, I found this perfect little hole. <gasps> That's what she said? Right under the bed. Um, okay, so at first I really wasn't happy with that because like this is kind of my bed, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? But then I thought, you know, I really like Harry Potter and this is kind of like an underneath the stairs moment. Um, just underneath the bed. So come on, let me show you. This is my new crib um, for when I come here. So just give me a second. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm flipping around. Okay. There we go. Um, so yeah, this is my new crib. Um, really enjoy it. I feel like it's a really good experience to have. Dad, what are you doing? Dad. Dad, what are you doing over there? What is going on? Is that Amazon again? Oh my god. Alright, so we finished unpacking basically everything. The washroom is there. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but um, here's the closet. There's a shoe rack that you saw in my dorm hall, and this is kind of like a little kitchen area, I guess. She has a mini fridge and then snacks and the cups and kettles and all that stuff. And then over here, we kind of like rearrange stuff like I showed you before. Um, I guess there's still some stuff to bring just to like fill those shelves and maybe when the textbooks get here and all that stuff. Um, yeah, that's the view again. And then here is the bed and then there's the drawers right there and just a table over there. I'll do like a more thorough room tour later. But yeah, it's your room. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs>
Goodbye, baby. You're a little baby now. Goodbye, little fresh man. Don't get scared. Bye, little fresh man.